Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. There's an actress named Keely Williams who used to be a part of two girl groups, one of them being 3LW and the other one being the Cheetah Girls. And she recently got on Instagram Live and addressed the rumors about her falling out with her group members, Adrian Bailon, Raven Simone, and Natori Naughton. Now in her live, she talked about her fallout with Adrian. If you don't know, Adrian was also in the girl groups 3LW and Cheetah Girls, and she was good friends with Keely for years, but they did fall out for reasons we don't quite know. Now Keely claims that Adrian was just being a fake friend, and she just stopped talking to her all of a sudden. I don't, honestly, here's my thing. I don't see a reason why I would need to go on the reel because I'm not promoting anything, right? So there's no real reason for me to go on there. And also, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Adrian wants to, like, have live TV with me. Because, I mean, she's going to have to say, yes, Keely, I did pretend to be your best friend. <laughs> and now I am not it's like you were either lying then or you're lying now you either were my best friend and now you're just not claiming me or you were pretending to be my best friend and now you're telling the truth so that's why i don't think that's gonna happen but stranger things keely's sister tease also claimed when adrian started dating rob kardashian she started hanging out with the kardashian family and she basically didn't want to hang out with keely anymore also, Keely's sister, Tease, dragged Adrian in a series of tweets and claimed that she was sleeping around with married men. And she also blamed her for breaking up the Cheetah Girls because nude pictures of her leaked. And that was against Disney's rules. So that was their side of the story. Now, I can imagine that Adrian probably has no interest in rekindling her friendship with Keely or Keely's family because there was some tension there. And even though Adrian never spoke on why they fell out, I feel like there was possibly a good reason for that based off of the hints she dropped on the reel. Now she didn't say Keely's name, so it's not right to assume that she's talking about Keely, but she definitely dropped a few hints. I had a group yeah. member that literally would tell stylists she needs to cover her legs, she has chicken legs. Oh, like, I had a best friend for a really long time, and we're no longer friends. Of course. <laughs> um, but, and it's sad because my mom would always tell me, be careful, Adrian, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, there's something there, she, she's jealous of you, and there's something there, and I would be like, no, ma, she just, she loves, and like weird things happen, rumors would get spread, and you'd be like, where did this come from? And it oh. would always somehow get back to her. Wow. But I would yeah. like defend her, or and my mom would be like, that girl is not your friend. She's, you know, like a friend of me. Would you guys ever get back together, do some music, and maybe even do a biopic? I never say never. I think that Natori is an awesome girl. Uh, she's having so much success on power. She's pregnant. That's so weird because literally we grew up together in bunk beds. And to be like, oh my God, I'm married and you're pregnant. We old. Has anybody seen Keely lately? No, 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 no. I have not. So you heard what Adrian said. And listen, some of this is alleged, okay? We don't know if Adrian is specifically talking about Keely, but I don't think that Adrian just fell out with Keely for no reason at all. I think there's a reason for that. Keely also addressed the rumors about her getting into a fight with Raven during the filming of Cheetah Girls 2. There was a clip that resurfaced of Raven on The View saying that she almost went to jail over somebody while filming the movie. Uh, we've known each other for a very long time. A very long time. That's why I can call you mama. Yes, you can. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> she played my mother on the Cheetah Girls 1 and 2 and actually uh, kept me super sane during one of these movies. And if it wasn't Barcelona. for her... Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona. If it wasn't for her, y'all would have had to bail me out of jail in Barcelona. Stop it. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about it. Okay. It was rumored that Raven almost got into a fight with Keely. But Keely did address those rumors once people started putting another spin on it. People were saying that Raven fought Keely because Keely tried to out Raven on the set. And Keely denied those rumors. This is what she said. Oh, so what made me do this was because I woke up this morning and everybody was saying that um, I threatened to out Raven and I don't know where that came from. So I was like, let me get on Instagram Live because I've never done this before and tell everybody that I didn't. And I'm sure it's going over really well. It's on my tip. Um, so this morning I woke up and it was like, girl, why did Raven almost beat your ass? And I'm like, what? When did she almost beat my ass? 
and I'm thinking about it, and I can't remember a time because <laughs> we never really had words. We were close on the first Cheetah Girls movie, but not on the second. She was our boss, and like, like, whatever, you know. So I got mad because what I saw in the comments was about me outing her or threatening to out her, and I would never do that. I would never do that. I promise. I swear on everything. I'm not mad. You just don't need to. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. But I was upset about the homophobia thing. So that's why I went on live because I was just like, I for sure did not out anybody. I would never do that. I'm going to keep saying that because I didn't. That's it. Now, I will say in this case, I do believe Keely. I don't believe she would try to out Raven, especially since Raven didn't come out as a lesbian around that time, so she wouldn't know. So I do believe that Keely is telling the truth about that. As far as the whole fight is concerned, that rumor was allegedly spread by Raven's co-star Orlando Brown, but Keely did deny fighting Raven, so she might be telling the truth, who knows? Last but not least, Keely did address her situation with Notori Naughton. Notori Naughton was a part of Keely's other girl group called 3LW, and Notori talked about her terrible experience in the group, and she also talked about Keely throwing food at her during a fight. This fight actually led to the downfall of 3LW because Notori went on Wendy Williams' radio show and exposed everything. And then while we're arguing, me and Michelle, I'm talking to Michelle, and they're like, F you, you know, you calling me all kind of bitches and this, this, and that. Right. So right, I say to uh, Michelle, what did I say wrong? And all I know is out of the blue, Keely just is like, F you. And then throws the plate dead in my face, oh, in my okay. eye. My eye was watering. It was yeah, well, you had mashed potatoes and gravy. At mashed potatoes, mashed all over my hair, my face, down my clothes. It was a mess. And right then and there, <gasps> I was like, I don't have to take this. The adults, managers, production company, there were a lot of adults that were influencing us. They wanted to control, uh, you know, what we were going to become and what kind of music. And it was just so much about making us successful that they forgot to let us be successful. Like, we had a platinum selling album. What is wrong? It became, Naturi's voice is too soulful. You're not crossover enough. Naturi, your look is not hot right now. Nobody's checking for a dark-skinned girl. Why would we put you in front? Everything that was working, it had reversed. Did y'all really have a fight at KFC? Yes, we did. I said, I'm not the one who's trying to kick me out the group. Don't be mad that Wendy Williams or that the news is out, because it's true. And there were some names called, some profanities thrown. She turned around, Keely, and threw the plate of food, mashed potatoes, chicken, whatever else was in there, in my face. And I got out the car and I was just like, I'm going home. And I got on a plane from Atlanta mm -hmm. and they wouldn't even give me a flight. My road manager wouldn't even help me. She said that she wasn't obligated to get me a flight. They wouldn't send me home and they were going to leave me in a dangerous situation because how do I know that tomorrow she may, Keely, may not feel like throwing some hot coffee in my face right. or scratching me with, you know, the back of her fork. Right. Who knows? She has, she doesn't have enough control. Obviously. Or Adrian pulling out his blade and who, stabbing you. Who son. knows? Like, who knows what they could do just because they're angry. So I said, I'm not doing it and I'm going home and I got myself a plane ticket now what happened is Notori was in the car with 3LW's managers who happened to be Keely's mother and sister Michelle and Tease Williams and Michelle was yelling at Notori because they thought that Notori was spilling information to Wendy Williams and they were going off on her and that's when Keely and Adrian stepped in and Keely threw that plate of food at Notori but more than anything it was management the managers had an issue with Notori Keely and her mother Michelle Williams did respond to Notori Tory, and this is what they said. If I have to choose between dropping my baby sister and a plate of food flying as I'm reaching for someone's neck, I'm gonna uh, keep my baby sister in my arms. So there you go. Right. Why would I throw chick? That's wasting right. food. Right. And I was going for her neck. And, and I'm not ashamed talk, of that, people. I no, always, I'm not. You call her that people. You call my mama a bitch. I'm a come. I'm throwing hands, food, whatever I got. My chunkla. That's right. It, it, 
uh, what can you, what can you expect? I appreciate her defending me, but also people don't know. Then she the said Baha- we left her. She said we left her at the KFC. We mom. did not. We took her to the hotel, and then that was the, the road manager. And that was the best part about it. Because right. remember, she was acting fine and texting and all fine in her car, in the car. And then when she got out, and the rep came to meet us, she was like, oh, oh, oh. like her face was right. burnt. Oh, okay. This was a legit question. What the hell is wrong with you? Yes. At the time, that is our biggest mommy. Is that not our biggest regret? What? That we did not just come out at the time and just freaking say what happened. But wait, listen. We had just got, for the first time ever, our first number one, like, song. We were not prepared for this. We were not prepared for Naturi to leave. Like, like why would we kick somebody out of a group (laughs) when we get our first number (laughs) one song ever? We were excited to be on TRL. We had to go on TRL with the two of us looking stupid. And I remember I didn't know what to say, so I was like, I'm allergic to drama. (laughs) <laughs> right, right. I didn't know right. what to say. I didn't know what to do. And like, at thinking back, sure, no, we should have had no, like, no, a, no, like a publicity no, team. No. Y'all should have did a better job with that. Okay, like no. doing a crisis right team no, to no. let us know I'm how to handle I'm the situation. No, but I know. no, mommy, you're, you're talking and this, you're being distracting. Okay. And I really wish at the time we would have been able to handle the situation better and just be honest about what exactly what happened. But we were young, like, and and everything about our group, the, the reason why we were formed, my mom's entire vision for our group was that, to show that, that three girls or more. It was four at first. It was, when my sister was in it, it was four. Um, there was the first Little Women, like, back in the day. But it was to show that women from all, black women from all different walks of life, women of color from all different walks of life could come together. And every girl watching on TV would have something to look at. She, she could. That dog test with Keely when Keely was a baby. It's mm-hmm. a very, very important part of our lives. Yeah, right. and um, it was important that every girl be able to say, "Oh, I'm like her. Oh, I'm like her. Oh, I'm like her." So everything that happened that night and leading up to it was so counter to what our our mission was. So I think that's really where we got thrown off because we didn't know how to course correct that because that was everything our group stood for and it was all just kind of like turned on its head i don't know what common denominator you mean like i really don't i think the common denominator is people blaming me for shit that i didn't do because i didn't do nothing and like i even asked my mom i was like can can you show me have I been named by like all of these group members saying like Keely did this to me? Keely did this. Keely was this. Or is it just like my group member once said something I didn't like and then everybody's like, oh, well, Keely did it, you know? I don't feel that I have uh, anything to make amends for, um, especially as it relates to Adrian. Um, as far as Naturi goes, if there was ever a reason to apologize, um, all of that has been kind of overshadowed by the literal lies and just like really ugly stuff that she said about my mom and my sister. So no, Mm -mm. Mm. not interested in it. I'm sorry. So that's my amends. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Not to her. Not me. Girl. Nope. I'm not the worst person in the world, guys. I mean, I'm not the best, but I mean, I'm not terrible. Like, the people who are friends with me think I'm nice. The people who don't like me think I'm a cuntbag. I mean, that's just, like, being a person, I think, right? Like, I was so unhappy. And looking back, I mean, I guess that could be why a lot of people found me so difficult. It's just because I was really unhappy. Now, I wanted to include that last part of Keely admitting to being difficult. It's no coincidence that she has basically fallen out with three members of her former groups. But the group members that she fell out with seem to be cool with each other. So it's not that far-fetched to believe that she is the problem. But she has the right to address rumors and tell her side of the story. Anyway, let me move on to the next topic. Drake broke the internet when he revealed pictures of his son, Adonis. 
This reveal is a surprise because Drake has been quite secretive with his son. In fact, Pusha T was the one who told the world that Drake was hiding a son and he was planning to use him in his Adidas rollout. And he also told the world that Drake's baby mama was a former adult film star named Sophie. When Pusha T put this information on blast, people on social media went wild. And Drake had to respond to this by saying, I wasn't hiding my kid from the world. I was hiding the world from my kid. Well, Drake is no longer hiding his son Adonis. He posted him and his baby mother on social media and he wrote this long message on Instagram. Now, I'm not gonna read everything, but I will read the last part he said. He said, I love and miss my beautiful family and friends and I can't wait for the joyful day when we are all able to reunite. Until then, please keep your lights on. Honestly, this warmed my heart to see Drake finally make a post about his son and his family. I know Drake was a little bit self-conscious about posting his son because of course he wanted to protect his child, but also he just didn't want to get any criticism from other people. But it's clear that he's embracing fatherhood and I'm glad that he's maturing. And I think this was a sweet post. Now, one thing I will say that annoyed me were the comments about his son's looks. A lot of people were confused as to why his son had blonde hair and blue eyes. And I don't know if people understand genetics, but Drake is biracial, okay? His mother has blonde hair and blue eyes, so his son takes after his mother. And one thing to understand is when a biracial person produces a child with a Caucasian person, there's a very high chance their child will inherit recessive genes from their white side. So people shouldn't be confused about how his son looks. Nothing's wrong with the way his son looks, nor should they question whether or not this is his son because Drake has already confirmed that he took a paternity test. You know, to be honest with you, uh, I actually did a DNA test for my son and, um, and they came back to us and they said that the DNA test got ruined in transit um, and that they couldn't be 100% sure that that was my son or not. Um, so I was in a really weird pending situation where I didn't want to go tell the world um, that that was my son and it wasn't. So... And if you see my son, you understand why. I'm mad. Here's the thing. I, put, I saw. went in the shop. He showed everybody a picture. Yeah. B. I said he seen the picture. Show it to me. I thought we were cool, you. Dre. Yeah, I, I, I got to see a picture. Like, um, but yeah, no. If you see my boy, yeah. you'll understand. Like you know, at the time, I was like, I, I mean, he's just he's. I mean, he's just a stunning child. Yeah. You know, with the brightest blue eyes. And at the time, I was like, I don't know. But you know, it wasn't until it, it actually wasn't until a week before the album came out that I got confirmation that that was yeah. definitely my son. It took yeah. me two more solid tests with two different companies. Yeah. I put that clip in there for anybody wondering if that was his son. It is his son, he took the DNA test, and plus his son looks just like his mother, Sandy. There's no denying it. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.